Um, Austin Ox had a really good take on the whole Moo Kitty thing. It basically what I was saying yesterday. Um, but Charlie hasn't yet realized that you actually don't have to give promo to people who hate you to your 12.8 million subscribers in a 40 minute response. For context, Moo Kitty, who has 30k subs on YouTube but XQC watches all of her videos on stream, condenses a bunch of attacks on streamers into crazy edited videos. She's attacking Charlie for being a hypocrite for not criticizing Cutie for having a Fansly ad, I think. Which we went over, that's not hypocritical at all. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Charlie could just ignore this. Like I said, somebody like Moo Kitty isn't somebody that needs charitability, doesn't deserve it. They're coming from a place of bad faith. All they want to do is drive hate clicks and gain clout from these people. They want people like Charlie to talk about them. They want XQC to talk about, about them. They want Hassan to do that. So she will get a bigger platform, which she doesn't already have. The reason she has the platform she has is because of XQC. And I've never been into her videos, but she used to like her videos at first when I'd see XQC looking at them, they seemed like memes and just all about just like saying funny, stupid shit. But now it seems like she's actually trying to like come out here and like prove that she has the moral high ground in some way, which is just really weird and cringe. But, uh... But yeah, this is why Hassan is like banning anybody in his chat that's like, oh, are you going to watch the new Moo Kitty video? That, that's because like you're just platforming her at that point. The more, the more you allow it to happen, she's just going to get bigger and bigger. And her only goal is to take out people that she doesn't like from a bad faith perspective. She doesn't actually care about the things she's talking about. She's just trying to take out people she doesn't like. That's it. Um, what else happened? Um, oh yeah, Aiden Ross came out.